Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we are gonna start building our very first sticks and links pergola. It's basically metal brackets that are held together and then the, you have wood posts and wood top and there's a sh there's different options. You can do a, a sunshade if you want. Really cool stuff, floor brackets. We're gonna kinda get into all this stuff and we're gonna do a, a few different videos so that these videos aren't super drawn out. Today, we're just starting with a basic eight by eight pergola. Pergola, pergola, pergola. I stumbled across this stuff because it's made by a company called Wild Hog. Oh, one more thing. If you like this video today, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out fresh content. All right, so I stumbled across this product when I was talking with the representatives at Wild Hog Railing. We use a lot of their um, wire hog infills sometimes on some of our decks. You've probably seen it in some of our videos. And they came out with this new product and I thought it was pretty cool. It like gives you a vertical element in what you're building. And I, I lack a lot of design elements sometimes in some of my builds. And this is a really quick and easy way to just do a vertical simple pergola or maybe you wanna get a little fancier and you can link these together by different types of hardware that you purchase. It comes with all the screws and the fasteners and actually some decent directions I've been reviewing. So we're gonna get started here and we're gonna see about how long it takes for us to assemble one of these. All right, so for today's pergola that we're gonna build, we're just doing a simple eight by eight. It's eight feet tall and eight foot square. We only need four top brackets, which are right here. We're using the sticks six by six pre-made posts and top beams. They're all the same. It's a really cool product. They're kiln dried. They have a nice rabbit on each miter. So there's a lot of uh, surface glue that goes in when they make these things. They're structural posts and uh, they're really good looking as well. So they just fit right into these brackets. This is a corner bracket that's gonna sit like this. So one of the sticks goes in here, one of the sticks goes in here. And then once we have the top built, we put in the bottom, we just raise it up, add the posts, and we just go from there. We also have the floor bracket, which holds the base of each post in place, and then you anchor it right to your deck or concrete or whatever uh, medium you have to mount this to. So the uh, pergola kit comes with fasteners and bits so that you can easily attach these to the bracket, right through the bracket, right into the wood. Now you can use standard six by six as well as their manufactured posts. So uh, the manufactured posts are really nice and it's not a bad option. So we'll uh, we'll get into those in a little bit. We're gonna start laying one out, getting them out of their boxes and we'll just follow the directions as we go right here. Um, we'll go through step one through step 15. Here is the end of one of the sticks posts that you can purchase straight from one of the Wild Hog dealers. And if you look really close, you can see how they cut the rabbit into the miter. Instead of just a miter, they manufactured it. I kind of like it. I, I think this is a really sweet look. They're kiln dried, they're structural posts. So they have a hollow core so you can actually run wires or lighting up through them. They're uh, a little bit lighter and easier to handle than a traditional six by six and they're nice and dry and they're of high quality, which is what I really like about these posts. We'll see how well they go together. I'm assuming it's gonna be just fine, but I just wanted to show you guys the, the glue joint on the end of this and the hollowness of the post. So we're experiencing a slight amount of difficulty getting the sticks into the links component. So I just talked to the owner of the company and what we thought we'd do is we'd um, grind some of the burrs down on the metal, but he suggests that we actually sand down the sticks. Now it's a six by six square 
which is five and a half by five and a half. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a belt sander and we're gonna sand six inches back and we're gonna take less than an eighth of an inch out of two sides. You only gotta take out two sides and then these things should just slide right in. The reason for that is because in Washington state it's winter and there's a lot of ambient moisture in the air and the product the wood is just absorbing some of that moisture and it's swelling a little bit in the summertime they were able to just take these things and slide them right on no sweat but right now because of the time of year it is and there's a lot of moisture in the air the wood's absorbing some of that and it's swelling a little bit and it's making it difficult for the sticks to slide into the links so what we're going to do is sand those out and then hopefully they slide right in All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed us putting together our very first Lynx Pergola. Give them a follow on Instagram, L-I-N-X dot P-E-R-G-O-L-A. We're gonna be adding more features and different items to these pergolas as time allows. And just wanted to share this with you. We think it's gonna be a really cool vertical element. We have another video coming out where we're gonna show you how we add a shade canopy to the top of this. And we're also eventually gonna be adding a hammock to it as well so thanks for watching guys don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content thanks for watching have a great day